why is it so important to watch this video? I'm going to show you quickly. Um, the other videos don't really tell you a few things. Now, I'm a complete beginner at this, so someone can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, oh, and also, beginners, quite easy to pull it apart. Don't know how it is to put it back together. Okay, first of all, I use this gauge here off my barbecue to get the temperature. Not quite accurate, but better than just guessing. I also used a fan force uh, he uh, heater. Worked very well, got it very accurate to the right temperature that I needed at, and it worked fine. Temperatures I will tell you in a second. Uh, unlike some other videos, I don't tell you what, how long to cook it for. Oh, called uh, reflowing. Now I want to show you something that's very important, especially for the DV9000. Uh, I know it's very important for the DV9000 because I almost completely wrecked my motherboard. Uh, now, why, why did I get that DV9000? H uh, HP, well, it's not mine, it's my mother's, and I'm fixing it for my mum. Now, as when you pull apart the motherboard, you have... Okay, sorry, it's all in different backwards, and I'm not computer illiterate. Literate, not illiterate. Sorry, okay, that's the fan that goes there onto the CPU and uh, this section here. Now, as you see in the videos that are on YouTube... This guy pulls off this fan here, and uh, the graphics card is there. Now, as I was just about to cook that thing, it is not the graphics card. I do not know what it is. Is it CPU? I think the CPU is there. I don't know what that thing is. Uh, but that is not the 3D card. It is located in the same area as the other ones, on, as you see on the videos on YouTube. No, it is not. I almost cooked that and nearly wrecked my motherboard. Oh, it might have helped cooking it, but I don't know. Now, with the DV9000, this is my this is my mum's DV9000. There's an other section over here. I'm going to put this other piece back on. It goes around there, over there. So you pull this thing off there. You don't cook this part here, as you see in the other videos. That does not look like... The 3D card. The 3D card is over here located under this thingy. Now, as you look carefully, you should see... Oh, sorry, you might not see that because of the poor quality of the video. That says... NVIDIA. I can't pronounce that. I'm sure you guys are laughing at me now. My reading is terrible. Um, that is the 3D card. That's the thing that you need to cook. Not this thing over here. Nor this thing. So all different models, I'm assuming, are different because the most popular videos out there say to cook this thing in this location, but it's not this thing. It's this thing over here, not this thing. It looked like it was in the right location and just kept looking different. I'm like, why does mine look different to this? Maybe it's a different 3D card. No. After I managed to pull that section off there by accident, I realized that that's the 3D card over there, not this one here. Now, some guys are probably laughing at me. Ha 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 you idiot. The 3D card's over there. No moron would do that, but I did. I almost maybe fucked uh, sugar my motherboard. Yes. Oh, use this thing. They're good. And just a temperature gauge off the barbecue. That's sweet. And that's the, the thing that I need to tell you about, what was so important. Oh, how long to cook it? Um... Okay, the other videos show you, some videos show you that they only do it for like 30 seconds. I watched uh, one video down the list on YouTube. Uh, he cooked it for two to three minutes. Uh, that's a preheating at 210 degrees. Try not to go more than 220 for the first two to three minutes. After two to three minutes, increase the temperature to 280 Celsius, not Fahrenheit. So those guys from America or wherever they use that weird temperature thingy. We use Celsius. You can convert that later. Two to three minutes uh, after that, directly after that, no break uh, for... I actually only went for two minutes for... Uh, or, yeah, just... I'd say two minutes to two and a half minutes. Get rid of that three like that. No one saw that. And two to three minutes... Oh, two... 
to two and a half minutes at 280 degrees. Let it uh, cool down for, what was it, 15 minutes that the guy said, naturally don't put ice on it or blow on it like, <laughs> like so, you'll just get dizzy. Okay, and fingers crossed for putting it back together.